You know what time it is. It's creative thinking time. And let's see what Grandma did this week saving. Come on, guys. Let's all start doing a little savings together and start joining in with creative thinking. Think of different ways you can save a little bit of money and have a little better life and pay a few bills off. You'll have a little more money. Let's see what Grandma did this week. You know what time it is. Every week we put money in our savings account. This week we're going to start with the dental account. I put 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. There it is. All those nice crisp $20 bills. Now, you know, I try to put $100 every week in the bank. I try to pay myself first before I do anything else. So far, I have managed to save this calendar year $3,464.44. Now, I don't know if I'll make $5,200 by the end of the year, but you know, it looks like I'm easily going to make the $4,000 mark. Don't know if I'll make the five. We'll have to wait and see. I think we all need to pay ourselves first before we do anything. And that's what I'm trying to do. And what's important to me to get my teeth fixed. We all have different things that mean something to us. And for me, the dental work is my top priority. Now don't get me wrong, we do have a little bit of money besides the money I save. But we all have to do our part and save as much as we can. These are going to be some rocky, rocky, rocky roads coming our way. And as you can tell, I'm still not feeling very well. My voice sounds terrible. But I wanted to share with you what I put in this week since I put in my money in both the accounts. Now it's time to see how much Grandma saved for vacation time. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and there's the big one, 50. So that gives me $160 that I saved. Now I put the 150 in once a month and I put 100 every week for my dental. Now you can save your money any way you want. And when I started out with this, I was using this as pocket change and it started at $40. And you know, I got pretty depressed. It seemed like I wasn't saving hardly anything. Then I raised it up a little more and each time I found I could save it, I raised the amount a little more. Now we're at 150 a month. I'm still making it hard to believe. Now I have saved this calendar year $1,720. Some of this money is still going to go for my vacation cruise with my great-grandchildren and my grandchildren, a Disney cruise. Now I am saving for a second cruise that we will announce next year. Still don't know what it's going to cost me. I need to get busy and start looking. But it's going to be pretty pricey, so it will be a couple of years away before I get it. You know, it makes you feel good knowing you're making plans for a trip. And we really don't know what it's going to take until we actually book it. And because we're going to take a cruise, we'll have a year to pay it off. But before I start, I want to have at least half the money already in savings. And I may have to raise my amount from $150, maybe to $50 a week, and uh, put um, $200 a month in. Because I think it'll get pretty hard to do $200 in one week. But you never know how it's going to be. Maybe I'll start trying to save a little more. And we're going to spend a lot less money on the YouTube channel. 
Um, I'm not really making any money off of it and I put a lot of money in it and I have a lot of different things already and I feel like we need to start cutting down on how much we're spending. Well, Grandma's going to have to start doing a lot of things different on her channel. When it comes to home decor, I'm not getting enough return and I'm going to have to try to cut way, way down on what I'm spending. Um, you know, times are getting rough, guys, and um, I'm going to be using most of the stuff I already have. I'm going to re reuse and repurposing and whatever money I make off my YouTube channel, I will probably spend buying new merchandise but because i have such low watch time it isn't going to be much money so if you want to see more things you guys have got to start watching a little bit more at least three minutes please i would sure appreciate it it would be great to get full watches but i know i'm not going to so i'm just begging to go up to that three minute watch time and we'll see what happens I do love doing YouTube and I could do a lot of videos technically that don't cost me any money like these saving videos. I'm saving videos are really not cost me money the way I look at it because the money is going in the bank for a purpose for my dental work and vacation. Uh, the money that I spend buying groceries, my grocery hauls, that really I don't count either because we have to eat. It doesn't matter if I do it a video or not we're going to use that food to eat so you're going to see more videos like that that are going to be zero cost I'm going to see if I can't do at least 70% of my videos that aren't going to be costing me any money this coming year and I can't get it to a zero because grandma likes to buy new things and I like spending money but we all have to cut back and I need to start saving more money instead of less. Because I have another vacation I'd like to do and it costs a little more than I can saving right now. So I think I'm going to have to kick it up to $200 a month instead of $150. And I'm still going to continue saving for my dental work until I stop working. Because dental work is very expensive. And... We're going to be doing some new things also on our channel. Maybe do, start doing a little bit of travel and uh, start doing a little bit more where it sure is costing me money to travel, but this is what I enjoy doing. So I'm um, going to start doing more of those too. And uh, we'll see what we're going to do next year. We're still going to do Alice in Wonderland in April the whole month, but most of that stuff I already have it paid for already. And I have a lot of pieces that we have bought this year that no one's ever seen. So next year, you're going to be surprised all the new things that we're going to share. Already bought and paid for. And they're all going to be surprises. So be ready for a giant, giant surprise for Alice in Wonderland in April. Well, I guess that's about all I have to say. We're going to go in a different direction on the channel. Probably less of home decor since I don't think my views are all that good. And uh, we're probably going to do more prepping videos because, believe it or not, people like my prepping videos. And I get a lot of views on it and my watch time is better. So sometimes we just have to go change our direction on our channel. And if people want more home decor, then they need to watch more of my videos. Or I know that, that there's people out there that like it. That's why I stopped doing so many of my fairy gardens because I wasn't getting any good response on them. So the more response I get, the more videos you get. And that's what we have to do. Don't stagnate. Change your channel up as much as you want. That's why my channel says Grandma Sandy. This channel can be anything I want. Anything that will grow. Anything that encourages people. Well, I'll see you in the next video.